Welcome back. Luga Voices Games is here and today we are going to talk about the new and long-awaited project from Ubisoft, Ghost Recon Over. In this video you will hear insider news and some important details about the new project and also we'll discuss what to expect from the new game, which apparently will turn out to be completely different from what we expected. Well, make yourselves comfortable. Here we go. So, to understand how much change awaits us in the Ghost Recon franchise, I suggest to remember what happened to it in recent years and what everyone was waiting for from the next game. In 2017, there was released Ghost Recon Wildlands, a third-person shooter and the first game in the series with an open world, where players were given full freedom of action with elements of tactics and could decide how to carry out missions. To run and shoot everyone, or to first explore the enemy base and then quietly destroy everyone so that the enemy did not have time to raise the alarm. The game made a sensation and was loved by many people. Therefore, everyone was eagerly waiting for the next one. So then, two years later in 2019 released Ghost Recon Breakpoint, a direct sequel to Ghost Recon Wildlands. Only with a deeper story, though still not the most outstanding, improved graphics, more enjoyable and realistic shooting, and improved mechanics in general. However, many people didn't like the beautiful but absolutely empty archipelago of Oroa, mediocre level of AI, and futuristic future setting and drones, as well as the active promotion of looting in the game. Although overall the game became more tactical, smoother, and more thoughtful, adding new stealth mechanics to the game, for which many still loved the game. But, it still wasn't enough. Essentially the game was made for those who loved Wildlands, but not for the general consumer. And since Ubisoft released Breakpoint in a raw and unprepared form, it was not accepted even by the fans of the series. And now, a few days ago, authoritative gaming source Tom Henderson revealed details about the release of the next game in the Ghost Recon series from Ubisoft Studios, which is codenamed Project Over. According to Henderson's claims, this new installment is being developed as a tactical first-person shooter with an emphasis on strategic squad management, almost reminiscent of Milsim in nature, which will also draw inspiration from some of the leading first-person war games, including the Modern Warfare, Battlefield, Squad, and Ready or Not series. The upcoming Ghost Recon installment reportedly draws heavily on the Modern Warfare series in gameplay and narrative tone. The action of Project Over will take place during the Naaman War in a hostile southeastern country where hundreds of thousands of people have died as a result of war crimes. It is understood that the game's plot evolves around the ghosts, your team infiltrating the war zone to carry out secret missions and search for a traitor. The game promises to deliver controversial and provocative missions. One such mission is said to include a tense scenario in which squad members nearly shot a man with a baby in his arms after mistaking it for a bomb. This mission echoes the controversial clean house mission from Modern Warfare 2019, where players face moral dilemmas during a house raid involving a mother and her child. This comparison suggests that the new Ghost Recon aims to put players in ethically challenging situations, emphasizing the game's desire to show the harsh realities of warfare. Graphically, the footage provided to Henderson on condition that it not be released shows a significant graphical improvement over its predecessors and is best compared to something like Ready or Not. However, the most shocking of all the insider information is that the upcoming game will be a first-person shooter, a twist that hasn't been seen since Ghost Recon Advanced Warfighter 2 in 2007. While the 2017 and 2019 games, Wildlands and Breakpoint, offer third-person view options, the next game is expected to switch to a first-person view entirely. And personally, as a fan of the Ghost Recon series with its perspective of third-person gameplay, this is incredibly disappointing. After all, we were all expecting radical changes, and, one could even say, 
a kind of reboot, but definitely not Ghost Recon in the FPS genre. That's why at this moment there are quite mixed emotions from these insights. However, we should wait for the game not earlier than 2025 or even more likely in 2026. By that time we will definitely understand whether it's true or Ubisoft decided to make a throw in to the general public through a reputable insider to see the reaction of the community. Well, we'll see. So, wanted to talk to you a little more about the upcoming Ghost Recon over game. Well, we are definitely waiting for something absolutely new. And although we were expecting something different, but I think that it will be a new look at modern Milsim shooter. Toughness, realism, and an emphasis on the harsh reality and hard choices of the modern world. Perhaps, the new Ghost Recon will combine the seriousness and scale of Call of Duty Modern Warfare and at the same time realistic and tough gameplay, which is now trying to please a small indie developers who do not have the resources to make full-fledged big story campaigns in this direction. As they say, we believe in the best. If we think about what will be the general concept of the game based on the insights, then at the moment I see two gameplay scenarios. First, it will still be a small-scale open world, where our squad will have to land in a region and gradually get closer to the goal, eliminating enemies and getting new clues. Stage by stage we will see certain cutscenes, which will reveal the plot and the actual goal of the game. I don't exclude that an integral part of the game will be the survival system, which they wanted to realize in Breakpoint. Extraction of food, medicaments, and other necessary things. After all, we are obviously dropped in a remote area for a long mission without any help. The second scenario, all events will still take place in a certain region, but we will not need to explore the conditional region to achieve the goal and find new clues. It will be a game format in the spirit of Call of Duty, where we will simply perform mission after mission. No survival system. Just hardcore realistic shooter. But one would hope that the developers make the game according to the first scenario. What do you think about it? Write in the comments your variant of what will be the new Ghost Recon by its concept. And lastly, I want to give my thoughts on the question why Ubisoft decided to completely change the ideology of Ghost Recon series. Obviously, Ubisoft has clearly decided to go the way of current trends for the benefit of the mass player, in which first-person shooters are more popular and capture a larger audience. On the one hand, with this decision the company is completely ignoring the fan base of the current Ghost Recon setting. On the other hand, we may be in for something new and awesome. A game that will turn the entire world of Milsim first-person shooters upside down. Too optimistic? Maybe. But I want to believe that after so many years of working on a new game, a big company like Ubisoft will do everything right. But at the same time, it's strange and sad that Ubisoft decided to opt for the tactic of completely changing the concept and making a first-person shooter that is simply more popular in the gaming industry than third-person games. Instead of perfecting their build-up from the last two Ghost Recon games and finally giving fans the perfect third-person shooter that would be unrivaled. And I absolutely believe that they could have done it. But unfortunately, they chose a new way. Well, now I'd like to move on to the giveaway that started on the Luga Voices Games channel on March 12th. I remind you that each of you could win any game ever presented on my channel. And all you had to do was watch the Hitman 3 Untouchable Mission video, put a like and write any comment with at least 15 characters. And, of course, you need to be subscribed to Luga Voices Games channel. I think everything is clear here. So, I remind you that only the reviews, which were left under the video in the first 5 days after the release, will be accepted. After exactly 5 days, I left my comment, which closed the deadline of the giveaway, so that you could see it and not worry about the correct accounting of comments for participation. We ended up with 51 entrants, which I have tabulated. The table will be attached to the video for you all to see in person. So let's get started. Okay, number four. Oh, that's JD Kempton, a person who has been subscribed to me for a very long time now and comments on every one of my videos as one of the first ones. Let's find his review. 
Well, now I have to verify the fact that he subscribes to the Lugavoises Games channel. Unfortunately, he doesn't have subscriptions to other channels visible, but I'm absolutely sure that he does, because this person is among the five most active subscribers of my channel. Therefore, it is with great pleasure that I can announce him as the winner. JD Kempton, congratulations. Now any of the games ever presented on the channel is yours. Friends, thank you all for participating. Those who didn't win don't feel bad. This was not the last giveaway from me. So you will have more than one more chance to get some of the games from me as a gift. Take care of yourselves and your loved ones. See you soon.